God is worthy of all of the glory that you can squeeze out of yourself. He is worthy beyond what you can give. He is the blessed one and you can never bless him enough. <laughs> How great is the Lord God. He is great. And greatly to be praised. <laughs> I welcome the scribe of God. <laughs> ah, we see that you have been moving swiftly according to the things that you have heard in your hearing. <laughs> Uh, continue, scribe, to move at the speed that you are moving. <laughs> More speed would be better, shall. Uh, but you humans are so limited. And the things that you can do within the time that God Almighty has given you, <laughs> you waste. You waste time. <laughs> Is the rising of the sun until the going down of the same nuts long enough for you? Mankind, can you not accomplish the things of God within the day that we give you? Uh, you are always with excuse on why things are not accomplished in your life. <laughs> Uh, but I trust that you all have heard the words of the young female scribe as she is putting into your ears the words of God Almighty. <laughs> I I speak to you all, he that hath an ear, <laughs> he that hath an ear, are you listening, how, has the warnings of God Almighty that has been Coming through the female scribe or true. <laughs> she is but a yielded vessel that we have the honor of speaking through. Of course, people, we can speak to you out into your ears if we so desired but you are not a yielded one so you cannot hear oh but hear the words of the female scribe when she wants you of the things of God. <laughs>
that is swiftly approaching your lands. Humans, mankind, God Almighty has compassion on you. You were created for his good pleasure, yet his pleasure is not to the fullest concerning you, mankind. You are the rebellious lovers. Of yourselves. It is true what is written in your books, isn't it? <laughs> oh, ma, ma, ma. Ah, ma, ma, ma. Wait, wait, speaker. Speaker, it is I, Scrap of God. I hear that you are speaking into the ears of the listener. You are speaking into the ears of the listener. It is only fair that they know who you are. One cannot just speak into the ears of another and we not know who's speaking. <laughs> Scribe of God. <laughs> All the things that has to be done to The Robo Sandra Ebo Sendiri Kosha Mandorobo Sesianda Bola Ronda Sesianda Rocola And Therefore, at the request of the scribe of God, I shall make mention. Ah, but the sea sea under the moon, chorus. Sea sea, oh, quarter the moon, shanda the moon, sandra. I see no benefit, scribe, in informing them of who I am. They are without understanding. Wow. They are an ignorant people. That is why they die for a lack of knowledge, no understanding, and they refuse to get wisdom. Why must I bother? giving them any additional information but warnings to their lives <laughs> that is soon to be swiftly taken away from them. Hmm? Scribe of God. Not even I know who you are. And I am one of the Hear ears that you are speaking into. Honor me as I honor God Almighty, the God Almighty, the one that you serve. 
For if you are speaking into my ears, I say even to you, you know that I must write down every word that you say. Every word I am commanded to write. Make known yourself to the readers and to the hearers, to me as God's scribe. For I have a task to do. Voice of the Sisiyanda Minde so Sandanamo Shoras Scribe of God Koras Indrio Shonda Scribe of God <laughs> Scribe of God, see Sura Mahaya. Scribe of God, in Daroboa Thesianda. My name is Spears. See so spears. <laughs> ah, for so torabo sandria sinda spears as in the atmosphere spears. Sindrio sanda spears. Ovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovovov
and when something happens in your life, you cry out to God Almighty, who delivers you. <laughs> uh, for he is a good God. <laughs> And he delivers mankind out of all their troubles, your little troubles. You cry like children. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. Scribe of God, <laughs> oh, write this down in your book <laughs> and make it plain for the reader that they must take heed to the act. Must. For great things happen in the atmosphere. <laughs> For it is I, Sears, the city that causes the wonders in the atmosphere. <laughs> Keys of the books that I heed that have an ear. Is that not written in your book, scribe of God? <laughs> he that hath an ear, let him hear. <laughs> Who all, scribe of God? Will you allow to hear this word? Who all will you allow to hear this word? Will you, scribe of God, become respect of person? <laughs> or will you... Uh, Share this with everyone. I I I I I I want an answer from you. <laughs> I will share this with everyone. Fears, for I am the scribe of God, and I am commanded to do just that. Right. You do know that it. It is God Almighty that has given you this privilege to speak into my ears. I trust that you do. You are in no way type of control here. You are here because of the will of God Almighty. You are speaking into my ears before because of His will. I just want to make sure you know that I know who I am. There will be no abuse taken towards me as a scribe of God. <laughs> ah, you are a wise one, I see. Female scribe. <laughs> I have no issues with you, uh, scribe of God. I understand very well my purpose. <laughs> uh, and I see so that you, we are both under the command of God Almighty. Oh, see ya. But 
you watch your mouth toward me, young scribe. <laughs> uh, you say in your land, uh, tread lightly. <laughs> I borrow your foolish words to make sure that you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth towards you, female scribe of God. Father God, I have spoken to the ears of the scribe as commanded. I have no other words for you. 